What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the Blizzard Chillbreak for iOS 15.0 all the way up to 16.0.2. We're gonna talk about the current status and the current progress. This video is brought to you by For you Key, a software that allows you to unlock the iOS screen if you forgot your passcode, remove the screen time passcode if you forgot it, and of course bypass MDM and stuff like that. The program is available for both Windows and Mac OS. A free trial is available on the Tenorshare website, so definitely check the program out in the links below. The the program is compatible with iOS 16 and the iPhone 14 models as well. Stick around for the end of the video where I will also demonstrate how to use it. So today we're talking about the Blizzard Chillback for iOS 16.0.2 and lower all the way down to iOS 15. Yes, this is a jailbreak that I'm currently working on, it's a jailbreak that I'm creating and all these status can be found on my website on the iDevice Central website here. There's a page called Blizzard Jailbreak for iOS 15.0 to 16.0.2 current status. Now it's important to keep a few things in mind. This jailbreak will not come with Cydia in the end. There is a major reason for that. Cydia is actually quite broken on iOS 15 and 16 and the developer that said they would actually want to update Cydia to work on iOS 15 decided to quit doing it. So I'm not going to include Cydia. However, it will come with Cilio, Zebra and Installer 5. You will have an option. For now, I included in the development build the option to install Zebra or Cilio. You can see there is a toggle here, but in the end version, there will be a third one which would say install installer 5 and there was actually a lot of talk about the block pirate repos option over here which as I said in this tweet over here will be a standard feature on this chill break. Now what's the purpose of this? Well at first is to help the developers in our community who make paid tweaks to somehow counter piracy at least a little bit but the most important reason is to prevent people from using pirate repos without knowing. Many people install pirate repos because they don't know any better so so this toggle over here would block that by default. However, if you don't want any protection, you can just press disable anti-piracy over here and you can use whatever you want on your jailbreak just like the other tools that exist. However, compared to uncovered jailbreak, compared to any other jailbreak, this jailbreak would actually block pirate repos by default in case you want to play it safe and you don't want to end up using pirate repos by mistake. This is a feature meant to protect the user at first because many of those repos contain malware, but if you are a powered user and you don't want the jailbreak to hold your hands, you don't want any protection from that, you can just disable it over there. The toggle can be disabled in the menu. So what devices will this jailbreak support? It supports all the Checkmate compatible devices, which means iPhone 10 and lower. Now of course iOS 16.0.2, 16.0, 16.0.1 are supported, but only on the supported devices that are compatible with Checkmate. And that basically is the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, iPhone 7, 7 plus and so on do not have the iOS 16 update. Another major and important thing is that on those devices, on the iPhone 8, 8 plus and 10, so basically the A11 on iOS 16, if you ever had a passcode before, you will have to wipe reset the device. That's unfortunately coming from Apple, they changed SEP again, breaking the checkmate exploit even further for those of you who had a passcode before. If you never had a passcode, you don't have to worry about anything, but if you did have a passcode before on those devices on the iPhone 10, 8 or 8 plus, it's not enough to turn it off for the jailbreak, you will have to reset the device too. Now this will apply even if check rain gets updated because there is no SEP exploit available for those devices, so even check rain would have the same issue. Jailbreaks like Uncover and Torin, which use kernel exploits instead of checkmate, will not have this problem those are immune. So currently I am working on basically developing more patches for the kernel as I need them. The sandbox patches are finally working fine, all of them, so that's actually great. And the user land application for handling the package manager installation is now complete, which is this application over here. Imagine this application like the checkrain application that you had to open after jailbreaking with checkrain. It's the same thing, the jailbreak button only installs the package managers because the jailbreak is already in place if you can open this application. This Blizzard application is only visible after boot with the jailbreak installed. So yeah, that's basically, that's what I'm currently working on. Preliminary tests for the iOS 15 bootstrap are looking good, so uh, it's possible to do a proper rootless jailbreak on iOS 15 and 16, but it will still take more time. So yeah, that's basically what's currently
currently going on with the Blizzard Jailbreak. Before we end this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to use For You Key in order to basically unlock your iOS screen if you forgot the passcode. So first you would have to connect the device to the computer, then open the For You Key program, press the unlock iOS screen over here, press start, and of course check out the notes over here because this will remove everything on the device. We press next over here and it guides us to put the device in recovery mode or of course in DFU mode. So make sure to follow the instructions on the screen because each device has different instructions. Having put my device in DFU mode, it says downloading the matching firmware. We press download over here and wait for the download to finish. This will take a while because the firmware is rather large. After the firmware is successfully downloaded, just press start remove and this will show up. It will say removing the screen lock and this can take up to 10 minutes or so. After this is complete, the screen lock will be reset and the device will go to the setup screen. And that's basically it. After about 10 minutes, it says screen lock removed successfully. If you like for your key, please share it with your friends. And now the device will restart. It's as simple as that. So definitely check the program out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, check out the jailbreak page to stay updated with the Blizzard jailbreak progress. And peace out.